Hey y'all, welcome back to Resale Therapy. My name is Tracy, I go by Kidlet, and I sell on Macari and eBay. And today this video is part two of bag number five from the 21 pounds that we purchased at shopgoodwill.com at auction for just over $100. It originated from Indianapolis, Indiana. And in the last video, Kat, Will, Kawhi, and myself opened the bag and started to peruse its contents. And the kids and I were quite quick to discover that the contents of this bag alone was going to more than pay for the cost of the entire 21 pound lot. Now, in addition to your standard earrings and necklaces, there were rings of silver and gold plate. And then if that wasn't enough, there were all the pendants. Stay tuned to see what else we got out of this bag. Hey y'all, I know some of you have been really interested in purchasing our jewelry here on YouTube and have requested prices. So unless otherwise marked next to the jewelry, just assume that these are the prices. Please pause as you need to to take note of what it is. It's pretty straightforward. And then if you're interested in anything, our information is in the box below. And please take note of what you need to send us with your order. And we will do our best to keep that information in case you wish to order from us again in the future. And it'll be easier the second time around. Oh, and if your purchase is over $15, we will pay for the shipping. Now, because we do post to other platforms, prices are only good out one week from the date of the video. Thanks. Now let's get back to playing with jewelry. Here is a oh, the little set of two cherubs talking it out. They're like, yeah, man, this 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 Based on this the sucks. Painting. I forgot which one though. Yeah. They're like, this 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 racket sucks. I know. We're like kids forever. What the heck? I don't know. And the wings. It just okay. Anyway, it's one of those pinch others. brooches and it says made in I'm guessing. Canada you guessed wrong made in Canada that's cute it'll go with the other ones we have like that ooh it's a Howlite faux turquoise crystal shard, but really it's not crystal. It's Howlite dyed turquoise color. And it's got a nice chain, but it's probably magnetic. Oh, all day, every day, yes. Um, but it's cute. It'll be individual sale probably, most likely. I don't know. We got another cabbage on here. And another one that's plastic, but that's okay. So we got a squish penny here, and it says 500 um, I don't know what else it says. It might be something important if it says 500. Let's see what it says. I don't know. I don't have the light on. I can't see in the dark. It says Indianapolis 500. Okay, so it's not 500 it's years. Not. It's a racetrack. But that's cool. He's some... from a racetrack that goes burr. Yes, okay, burr. so some people like collecting the squished pennies. And sometimes they are worth something. Is this one? I don't know. Well, we'll find out. Research. Ooh, this is pretty. Something tells me this is Avon, though. Look at that. Hold on. That's really, really pretty. Doesn't it look like it would come from Beauty and the Beast? Oh, like sure. Gift, yeah. Beast for Gift of Bell. Okay. Yeah. And the tag says not Avon. What does that say? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, e, 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 something. E, P? Epi. Hello? E, uh, gold. E, no, wait, three, six, what does, I don't know, three, one, six, three, one, I'm going to have to look it up. I don't understand that mark at all. Let me show y'all one more time. So maybe y'all can help me with that one. Ooh, focus. There we go. It's like if it's upside down, it looks like a three and then a line and then a sideways six or nine. Don't know. So let me know if you all know. It's very pretty though. And that will probably be individual sale because it's let go. This is really cute. And it's not sticking, but I don't think it is um, gold or anything. But I could be absolutely wrong. 
It has a little stick to it, but that might be just where the yeah. spring is. So maybe we'll have to test that after all. What's this? It's an earring. Where's the other one? Okay. Right here. I should at, look before I ask. Those are kind of cool. Those are kind of cool. Uh, no name. So that's a uh, mixed lot. So we got some white, silver, and red bead earrings. Those will go in a mixed lot. So we have these earrings here, and it's missing a top. And I think the top is in our... <clears throat> oh, no, it's right here. So this was in the stuff from before. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we'll fix that, and then they're cute. Uh, so they'll be for sale. But I don't think there's a mark, and it's all good. This is cute. Let's lay it out here. It has an O, kind of like a... Oh, a Letterman O. Speaking of Letterman, my son might be getting into the football to play the football at the high school because he's so gosh darn big. The coach was like, can I have your son play football? I'm like, uh, yes, please. Why not? It is not magnetic. Well, that isn't magnetic, but that is. So we may have to test the cords, but there's no name. And there's nothing on the, okay, there's an R on the back of the O, because that's confusing. But it's slightly magnetic? No. I didn't see it pull up. Yeah, so we'll have to test it, I guess. Now this one. Kawhi's like this one. Do this one. Do this one. She's like, poke, 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 poke. Do this one. Okay. No. So this one's different. It's kind of like it's supposed to be. It might be a collar. So yeah, it's like a collar or a choker, depending on the size you put it at. So if you were to put it there, that'd be a kid choker. So don't do that. Uh, yeah, it looks like it'd be a choker more than anything. And the name on it is P Pacula? Is that like Dracula with a P? Is it the Paclama? No, it's P-A-K-U-L-A. -A, Pacula. Wait, so is that Pac-Man Dracula? No idea. Sure, let's go with that. And it has an adjustable you pick the hole and stick it kind of thing. And they're kind of rounded. So, they're cute. So, I think these are leaves, right? I don't know. Yeah, I think they're yeah. leaves. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. And they are rounded, if you notice, like that, for comfort. So, you're not, like, choking yourself completely. Um, we might look into that and see about... I don't know. Individual, maybe, but I don't know. So, the next... <laughs> <laughs> it's not real. Okay, chill out. This one here is by Avon. I can tell right away it's Avon. And it's a nice little chain. Uh, we'll save it to put something with it. It's not gold. It's magnetic. And my son is over there with a bunch of chains on, acting like a total fool. So if you hear him over there, I apologize. <laughs> Speaking of chokers. Okay, hold on. And we'll put that with our chains. This is very lightweight. I don't see a name. We'll hit it with this, but I'm pretty sure. Ooh, well. It might be aluminum. Aluminum isn't magnetic. Or it's not pewter. It's not heavy enough. Uh, oh, that is really tight. But we'll test it, because you never know. It is a cool little chain. Okay. All right, give it, boy. I'm going to test it first. Oh, yay. So we got this necklace. It's a bunch of links and blocks. And it is pretty heavy. And the boy was wearing it. And he's in love with it. But we're going to see. Where's the end? Is there an end? Or is it just over your neck? Oh, there it is. And the name is... Candy Munchin' Child. Monet. Ooh, so yeah, you ain't having this one. We are gonna look into this one because this one is a big name. This is Monet, and we'll give it the magnetic test. Ooh, yeah, no, 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 not gold, but it's still Monet, so we will look into it to see how much that is. But most likely, that's an individual sale. Good job, Liam.
Now we got this necklace here. It looks like it was homemade. It has some bonus hair on it. Ew. And sometimes these are silver, so we may have to test it. It's got three little pearls. Can't tell if they're fake or not at this point. Little beads, and then it's got a nice toggle at the end. So we will test that and see, but it is very cute. Probably though, probably mix lot. So the next one here is these big plastic beads. The stretch is not too great on it, and it will probably go in a kid's lot. Yeah. On the kids? Yes. All right, now we got some, is that a bracelet? That's a, what? That's a tiny tie. bracelet. I think it's made for a kid. It, hold on, let's see. It's all twisted, so it's hard to tell. I don't see a name. Uh, okay, we've had stuff like this before that says IS or S1. Don't we have earrings like this? Uh, I don't remember. No, Maybe. I don't think so. No. They would be in that other box, the one we um, put everything into. Oh, yeah. There were earrings that matched this. Yes, there were. Now, let's see. Is this too small or is this fine? And I'm just thinking it's too small. All right. Well, it's not too small. And if we have those earrings that go with it, that would be a nice sell. Now if I can get it on my wrist. Okay, so we'll look into that. But uh, yeah, it's kind of cute. Uh, now we have this brooch. It looks like a heart made with feathers or something. Uh, does it have a name? I don't know. This is kind of loose. Yeah, that's really kind of loose. Is there a name on it? Am I even gonna bother? I don't know. It moves a lot, so I'm not sure. So it's cute, but it's gonna be a mixed lot because it, 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 it jiggles and that's not okay. So here's um, some beads made in Indonesia. Seed bead stretch is not that great, so it's gonna go in a mixed lot. I'm running low on stuff. See? I know, I know, I know. Go ahead. So here's some cute little dangle earrings. Has all their stones. I think we had one before, and now we've caught the other one. Yeah. Woohoo! So those will probably go in a mix lot, but they are really cute. Yeah. All right, there is a name on this one, but we're gonna skip that and look at it first. So it's got this. Uh, ooh, it's really banged up at the bottom there, though. So we'll probably just uh, craft lot it. But it's got black cord and silver tone findings. And then it's by Chico's. So yeah, this whole thing will go in a craft lot for the pieces. Pizza banana. <laughs> so here's a nice collar piece. or It goes down on the collar bone, not um, like a choker collar or anything. Um, and it's okay condition. It's got some hot pink. And I know some people really like hot pink. So we might try to do this individual and it can get tighter if you need it up in the neck and it's got an adjuster if you want it further out. So yeah, individual sale. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's got pieces. It's got earrings too. Do they match this or is that separate and I messed up? I think those were separate. I'm not sure. Wait, whisper, whisper, whisper. So this is really pretty. Um, I probably have it backwards because I think they dangle like this um so we have plastic stones that almost look like moonstone from far away you know let me bring this up here so those almost look like moonstone but they're plastic and we got rhinestone and faux bead uh, pearls of different sizes it does not have a name or a number on it and it is adjustable it's cute so we might try that as individual sale and let me check to make sure but that's a bracelet and it doesn't match Okay, I'll do that next. Ooh, there's a bunch of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this little uh, crude bracelet is uh, mixed metal. Uh, it's got probably uh, silver, yeah, silver wire, I'm thinking. Very cute. And I don't know. We might put that as a mix lot. I don't know. It's really cute, though. Is this it? We don't have much left? Oh, there's rings. Oh, yeah, all the wheel stuff. All right, so I thought this was a hair piece. It's not. 
Then I thought maybe it was a brooch. It's not. What the heck is this? I think that was a part of a crown. I'm not... Maybe part of a tiara because there's a rough part right there. But look how pretty. Unfortunately, it's got to go to a craft lot because <laughs> there's no way to do anything with it. So these here are pendants. Uh, gold tone and silver tone. This one is a hole in one. And it is by JK. They are all by JK. I'll look that up and put it on the screen because I don't remember what that is. But JK. And these two are dance. Gold and silver tone. Oh, the hole in one in silver tone and gold tone. So you have your choice. And then this one is the only one that says powder day. And they're not magnetic. So we will test them to find out. Now I'm thinking of JK rolling. I know. Me too. So I'm not sure what this is, and if y'all know what it is, let me know. I'm not sure. It's either religious or who knows. Uh, there's no mark on the back, so it's got an older clasp. So we'll test that and, and try to figure out what it is. Here is a mammoth of a ring in size, not in uh, size of the finger. I have no idea. Uh, it's missing rhinestone so it's just going to go in a craft lot but we can I, i'm not going to be able to mandrel the size with a magnet but it's six and a half uh, missing pieces so craft lot barely all right so here's another ring heart with i think those are faux marcosite but they're pretty they're very pretty i could be wrong it could be marcosite we're gonna look in the band. Okay, now I'm thinking it might be Marcusite because literally it says in China, like North China. But look at the bling, y'all! It picks up on camera and everything. Oh it's very nice. Oh, it's the eight, which means I could fit it on my pinky. Woo! But we'll put that in a kid slot. Woo! Boy's got to start handing over the rings and the and the bling and and all that, but he hasn't done it yet. This one has a charm up at the up this i don't know why maybe it's supposed to be worn uh, this way hold on so that it's part of it i maybe i don't know the lobster claw has a name lobster clasp says I need to learn how to stick my loop in my eye every time. Fossil! Oh! Well, that's nice. So it's a fossil necklace, and even says fossil right there. And it's got a lock, and a key, and a name pendant. And then it's got... <sighs> They're making me crack up over here. A uh, heart with some rhinestones. And we're going to have to test it to see if it's silver um, because it's not picking up at all. So it might be. Well, not that one. So yeah, we will look into that one because it's very nice. We have a floating charm necklace thing here, which means locket. it's a locket for floating charms. Yeah, I uh, know. I said loading locket. <laughs> I know. Where did the M... So we need the M's because we have the O and it has to say mom because that makes sense. Or wow. It can say wow. Huh. World of Warcraft. Play now. <sighs> <laughs> not yeah, sponsored. I'm pretty sure that's not what it says. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Does there a name on the back? No, it's all stippling. Eh, that's great. Okay. So, M, O, M, and they barely fit in there, but, mom, oh, and or that says, so origami owl, yay, that's Wait, a good what? brand, origami owl. I shall make an origami owl, <laughs> I have goofy kids. So that's an origami owl, that's individual sale, I don't know if the charms are, but that is, so yes. Now we've got these uh, cir uh, cuff earrings. Is that what they call them? I think so. And they're magnetic as all get out, so they're not anything big. Mm -hmm. So those will probably go in a mix lot. Now the very light. Wow, that is really lightweight. That's like that weighs almost nothing. It's like a snake 
chain. It's a slithery snake. It's a slithery snake. <laughs> um, it is not silver. I can tell you that right now. Yep, it's not silver. It's ultra lightweight. Oh ultra. My. Maybe no aluminum is not magnetic. Uh, magnetic. Oh. Fun fact. And uh, that will probably go in a mix lot, or we'll put it in little sale. <laughs> um, since there wasn't a lot of interest, um, we may do a live that we give plenty of notice for to see if people show up to that. If not, then Will's stuff will just be sold via eBay and Macari. So now we have this really rugged looking beat up ring. And it looks like the bigger one. Tonight. It looks like the bigger one and it's missing all heck of stones, so that's going in. This one's really cute though, and I have a feeling it might be silver. It's not magnetic. Let's see if it says anything. I think it does right there. I don't know if we can see it through this, but I do believe that says 925, and it does. 925 NV. So that's silver and it's really, really tiny. I'm almost thinking it's an ear cuff because it's so tiny. Nevada. It's not even a one. So maybe if uh, it does move, I don't know. Maybe it's a toe ring. I don't know, but it's silver. It's cute and it's got sparklies. So we will put this in the, I don't know what to do with this lot, <laughs> <laughs> which is also our yes. fixed lot and tester lot and yeah. Now this next one is very crude looking and it's held together with um, twine or twisty or something. And um, it's, it's um, not magnetic, but it is really, really beat up so i'm just gonna put this in the crab lot and last oh this is fun this is the last one right yeah. yeah wow this one is so pretty look at that it's got a little gold uh pink locket heart two puffy hearts a round little puffy dot of sorts it's got a couple of rhinestones hanging down from chains very very cute it is adjustable and it says inside avon pretty sure that's what that says yes avon and it is a size six to seven if you push it very very cute so i might be able to do that but that's what it looks like they didn't show me this yeah, he was hiding it from you. <laughs> so cute. Now they're fighting. Okay. All right, so give us a minute. We're going to set up our favorites and things that we think we're going to sell. And we'll get right back to you. We got brooches, we've got big medallions on chains, we've got little charms, we've got bracelets, we had bracelets, right? We had bracelets, we had a couple bracelets, I don't see them now. Um, yeah, there's a bracelet right there. We had silver, we had gold, we did not have any diamond, but that's okay, because we had pretty much everything else. It was a great bag, another one that will more than 
definitely helped pay off how much I spent on it, which was over a hundred dollars. And we had Monet. Monet. So I was like, money. Monet, money, money, money. All right. So we definitely got everything except for the kitchen sink. Yeah, next time that'll be the kitchen sink, right? <laughs> that'll be definitely. There. Will, what was your favorite piece? Because there were a lot. There to be was honest, a lot. my favorite piece was the Monet, I think it was the Monet chain. This one here? Yes. yes. Kawhi, what was your favorite? The chokers and the turtle with the faux tiger thigh. Okay, I'm pretty sure they do not go together, but we will be selling them in the, together. It's I think fine. this goes to him. That yeah. might, you know what? Yeah, that might, because it's back. it's different. Well, they're all flat back, but that looks like it fits. So we will take that out and glue it. Um, but then it's still, yeah, never mind. It's still just a turtle. Uh, anyway. Still turtle. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it changed to something else. So, Cat, what was your favorite? Hmm. What did you say? Use your words, not pointing. This one right here. Or not. The okay. flowers. Um, the big lion dude. The big the lion dude and the kitty. Okay, so my favorites were the strawberry shortcake, and hopefully we can get her working. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to keep her. A little stash that I pulled for myself: the dragonfly and the Halloween. Um, I I don't know what else. I I like the ring with the little dangly bits. Where did that go? Did we even put that out? The ring with the dangly bits. The and ring with the dangly bits. Yeah, that. I like the fossil uh, necklace. That is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, the, the Monet is pretty nice. So overall, I think we did great. Until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Have a great day. Have a great tomorrow. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.